We've been advancing to secure the area, but this conflict, it feels pointless. Bayant incursions are increasing, both for the IPF and now us, and we waste our time on these petty squabbles. It isn't right. The IPF have been increasing their presence along the border. Are they planning an invasion, I wonder, or do they think we are? What's got them so afraid? I've seen all the vids. I know how awful their people have got it, but can't help wondering if we're really enemies. Are we just repeating the mistakes of the past? Command have ordered us to engage in IPF control in two hours. We've sent our goodbyes to our loved ones. We're prepared to die for what is right. But in my heart of hearts, I'm confident. We're the best damn fighters in the fleet. We will be victorious. I know it. I'm not getting out of here alive, guys. I'm sorry about everything. Well, mainly that I'm going to die, to be perfectly honest, but I'm sorry about the other stuff, too. 
I didn't lose the loot like I said. I hid it, and I tried to keep it all to myself. If you ever find this recording, head to our spot north of Port Royale. You know the caves there. The loot is safely hidden. I set out on this journey to find out more about the Bayants. Are they truly the fearsome monsters our governments make them out to be? Or is this more official propaganda, cooked up to control us in a state of fear? I will find out soon, dear listeners. I have made history. I have gained their trust. The Bayants will be sending some drones to be interviewed tomorrow. Please, whoever receives this message, help me. I, I was wrong, so v very wrong. They, they did things to me, made me f forget, made me one of them. All I can, can do is obey. I, I just wanted to learn about this, this world. I, please, please, please help me, help me. I told Alec that we need to keep moving, that we can't afford to stay in Clan Union territory. But he still holds out hope. He thinks more rebels will join us, that our numbers will swell when the people hear of our defiance. But Alec is a fool. This monarchy, this rule of tyrants, it's what our people want. It's a dangerous world. Safety matters more than freedom. But it's too late for me. The prince knows I opposed him in council. He knows of my treachery. If we don't get out of here, we'll be dead within days. For those questioning my methods, I am aware there will be a reckoning. No man in this world, not even a prince, can operate with impunity without reality supporting his claim to power. Gentlemen, ladies, please look at that monitor. Look at my creation, the Shard. The greatest scientists of the Clans Union have created the greatest weapon available in these seas. A railgun capable of restoring our people to dominance, of defeating our enemies, both without and, I'm sad to say, within. Bastion, close the doors. Let's give these senators a demonstration. I can't sleep. My superiors, they don't understand the importance of what we've been building here, of what we've been trying to accomplish. They only care about weapons and the profit to be made from them. We've narrowed down a location of interest, a potential source of the strange activity of the last few weeks. It's not just the tremors, the erratic behavior of the sea creatures we've been encountering. Either we're going crazy down here, or something is affecting our dreams. There's a signal in the deep. All my fellow researchers are wasting their time with are more deep sea bases, more DSFs, as if humanity could survive down here, as if we would want to. Well, it serves my work at least. It will hide my actions from prying eyes. I now know what I need to do. I know what'll have to become to save our people. I've frozen Kaelin and the others. They know their mission. As for me, I'm heading down to the locker. I need to be closer to the site of the anomaly. These IPF scum don't respect our waters, rookie. There's one thing you have to know if you're gonna make a successful agent. They harass us all the time, trying to gain intelligence about our positions. But we can't prove a darn bit of it. Their vessels are all unmarked, so if they're captured, we can't accuse them of anything. We, the AA, aren't like that. We wear our uniforms with honor. I hate these assignments. Never sleep station? We're seriously amassing troops near Never Sleep? 
The IPF aren't going to retreat anytime soon. I don't care what your boys told you. We should leave them alone. And no, I'm not being soft on the enemy. It's called common sense. What's an AA officer like me doing on the high seas? Getting a little rest and relaxation. Ain't that right, baby? So tell me more about what you boys are up to. I heard you've got all these tunnels below ground in case you get overrun. A little rat's nest all beneath the surface. Commanders tasked me with hunting down this Captain Nemo. Hmm. His very name speaks of a mystery. No one knows who or what he really is. Some think Nemo is a renegade Bion, a man who broke free of their hive mind to win back his soul. Some believe him to be a spy, a man out for vengeance at all cost. And others? Others believe him to be a man in search of immortality, the oldest continuously living human being in the whole of Aqua. Whoever Nemo is, he's certainly old. Records of him go back decades, waging a silent war against each faction, raiding cryostations across the world and augmenting his strange technology. No matter what the truth is, he's a threat, and one we must eliminate. This is Ajit Sedana of the IPF, signing off.
Mm-hmm. 